Hi everybody and welcome to my very first free tutorial for 2018. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Thank you all for being here and watching this and creating with me. So I am already drew uh, this girl out and I'm using the I'm using the reference photo you see there on my phone, uh, but you, you'll see later I'll change it a bit. I'm just using it as a sort of a guideline for the features because, and I really like that kind of delicate uh, expression she has. And I'm starting off here with um, a very, very diluted wash of a mixture of rose guanacridone and opera pink and a bit of yellow in there and I'm really really diluting it and as you can see I'm using a big brush and uh, I'm not um, trying to make it you know perfect yet I just want to get in some color into her face and mainly in the areas where I see it on the picture I'm leaving out the white highlights for now and um, I, I generally want to leave white highlights as you can see on her eyelid and on the ball of her nose and now on her lips as well. So I think uh, I was going to actually use this tutorial for a, a mini workshop that um, I was planning but you know as, as I was editing this video and I thought uh, why not start off this first this year 2018 with giving and I, I kind of wanted to do something special for all my followers and uh, students for all the love and support you guys have given me in 2017 and making it all possible for me to be here so and I truly believe that you know you can never lose by giving and um, the more you give the more you receive so why not kick off the year with a free tutorial and we can create some beautiful art to start off the year that means we'll probably be creating beautiful art for the, the whole year right <laughs> I'm mixing some Mayan blue I love Mayan blue because it granulates you know I'm using Daniel Smith's here so as you can see uh, in my um, watercolor box there those are tubes squeezed in and I let them dry and then uh, when I need to use them I just quickly spray them a little bit now what I'm doing is I'm putting this mine in blue uh, in between all the spaces where I drew her hair and the flowers so it's going to kind of be like a background and I guys I'm sorry for the lighting because um, it was really early in the morning and I was working like crazy to get this tutorial done for you just um, um, to get it out for you on the first day of the year and so this is like really early before my kids woke up and later on you'll see the sun comes out and I turn the light off and uh, the lighting is a little bit more clear <laughs> yeah so I'm just gonna keep filling out the background here I'm not being very precise because I don't mind even having some of that blue in her hair oh as you can see I'm actually dropping in more color there with the, the paintbrush sometimes I drop in more color I mean my it's always my in blue but I, I drop in more color or I drop in clean water just to give it more granulation give it more variety and I'm gonna keep doing this all around the painting and and then I'm probably gonna do another layer on the face I know that you're curious I know that you're strong but life can be furious and things can go wrong You go, you go, we're better off tomorrow But who knows, who knows, if we get joy or sorrow Ooh, 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 ooh. Stay true to the fire in your heart and your soul don't trench your desiring what you can't control We fly, we fly, try so hard together And we might, we might, be lost but not forever Ooh. 
Okay, so now I was just feeling if the face was dry, the first layer was dry, and usually you can tell if the paper is, um, even of course, dry to the touch, but it shouldn't be too cool. Like if it's still very damp, then you'll feel that it's quite cool even though it's dry to the touch. But it was dry since I was working on the background in the meantime, so now I'm adding a, a layer of kind of a yellowish, I think it's gamboge yellow, also very very diluted just to the areas on um, the right side of her face there where the the light is falling and the left side there uh, you can see is more in the shadows and i'll add more of the cool colors over there i'm still adding a tiny bit of it as reflecting reflecting light there now, i took a break after that had breakfast <laughs> gotta gotta remember to eat right gonna put another layer on her face oh that's my son's car <laughs> he always wants to have his little show his little car or his airplane or something in there and anyway I'm using the pink and the yellow again that's quinacridone roll rose bit of opera pink and uh, the gamboge yellow and I'm just putting another light layer on the areas that I want to reinforce with that color. So her eyes, and I love um, putting that rosy color on the eyes, the nose, and the lips and the chin. That's just those areas that I think it really gives a delicate kind of um, sweet <laughs> effect to the face. I don't know how to explain it, but it's, it's just something I like doing. Of course, you don't have to, but um, I like to do that. Now I'm going over the lips. It's a little bit less diluted, as you can see. But I'm being careful to leave uh, those white highlights on the lips. And on the left side of her lip, where the shadow, where it was more in the shadow, it's um, not stark white. So I had put a very light wash of that pink and yellow over it. So that's the difference between the left and the right side. And as you can see, her mouth is slightly ajar. And I'm leaving that for now. I'm not going to put quickly the um, dark color in the middle. Otherwise, it'll just go everywhere and ruin her lip color. So you want to wait till that's dry to actually go in with the darker, cooler colors. And um, I'm adding some of this pink uh, color again on her knuckles. And I love doing that too. I don't know why. It's just something I love doing. You'll see if you've done my watercolor dreams class. Uh, I um, go over all these techniques. Um, they're kind of my way of painting. But I go over them like really in detail and in real time. So if you like this way of working, you can check out that class. And I'm sure you'll love it. It was really fun to make. And the students had a lot of fun. And everyone made some gorgeous work and there's even a video actually where you can see everyone's work on the sales page. So now I'm adding uh, a layer of that pink. It's actually no yellow in there, it's just a quinacridone roll, rose, very diluted. And this is the very uh, lightest layer of the flowers and as you can see I'm skipping it around, I'm not actually filling it in. But I'm leaving some white spaces there too. So important, as I always say, to leave some white spaces here and there. So now I'm going to do this to all of the flowers. They all get the same treatment. And uh, I'm oh, now I'm mixing up some of the green for the leaves. I wanted to do the same thing on the leaves. So I'm going to put uh, a light layer of green gold on all the leaves. and. You can hear my son wants to be in the video too. <laughs> and um, I'm going to drop in some of the, the pink in there as well. Just to sort of have a reflective um, color in there. It actually comes to be kind of a rusty color. Like a leaf brownish green. Never thought it would be so hard. I grew up without a scar Just living my life with no big worry So now I'm working on the eye. Now this is a tricky position for an eye because it's kind of half closed. 
So um, you want to make the white part of the eye like really not white. <laughs> I'm putting, I'm using Mayan blue and I'm making it quite um, in the shadow. And I'm mixing up more of that and I'm adding a bit of moon glow. And I'm now I'm making a, just a glaze over her um, eyebrow. And I'm going to come in and define that a bit more after. Adding some shadow in her eyelid and underneath her eye. And I'm going to zoom up in a minute so you can see better what I'm doing there. But I'm really, I'm starting to add some definition to her face, some shadows. So um, on the left side where it's a lot more in the shadow and her eye is kind of covered with the flower there. I'm just adding a lot more of that. I'm kind of um, going back and forth between the moon glow and the mind blue and um, defining the face a bit around the nose, underneath the nose. So now I zoomed up, so I'm going to work on the eye a bit. As you can see, I'm still using uh, those two colors, Mayan blue and um, moon glow, because I want to use the same colors throughout the painting. That's what makes it very harmonious. If I was to use like a green in her eye or something, I don't know, it might just look kind of funny stick out and then you, that's like the first thing you'll notice. And I'm putting some line work over her eyebrows, the very diluted still, just to give it a bit more definition. And I'm filling in her eyes here, um, putting a lot more, a lot darker, a lot more shadow on the top because it's covered by her, you know, there's a, like a cast shadow from her eyelid. And uh, so you really like the lightest part is like right at the bottom where it's touching, Iris is touching her lower lid. And I'm just, you know, adding a bit more shadow. And I'm going to define the eyebrows, the eyelashes later with color pencil. Adding some of that in her nostrils. And I, and I think I added a bit more moon glow to make it a bit darker. And, um... Yeah, just defining that nose, putting some shadow underneath, making sure I leave that reflective light at the bottom. And I'm going to soften that highlight as well on the ball of her nose because it's a bit too stark at the moment. Adding a bit more shadow on the left side of her face to get it the way I want it. And on her lips as well, that left side is a lot more in the shadow. And I want to... Um, not just color it in, I'm making some lines that are curved so that her lips kind of look, uh, so it gives it that volume. And, and putting a shadow underneath as well because, you know, that makes, that gives it a lot of volume too, like between the chin and the lip, the lower lip. Once that's dry, then I'll go into the middle of her lips and add the shadow in there. But I want to wait till it's dry. So I'm just touching up the face, adding a bit more pink here and there, a bit more shadow, just defining a little bit more until I get it the way I like it. Don't wanna care about them, though it hurts so bad. I wanna stay wide open, cause if I shut down, it just gives them
I'm taking uh, this picture I have. It's actually a calendar that my um, this nature store gave me. And I love these flowers. I'm not really sure exactly what kind they are, but they're some kind of Brazilian flower. And um, I just think they're really pretty. I'm kind of using it as a guideline, although I am not going exactly because they're very detailed. So um, I'm, I'm adding a bit of line work. So a second layer on these flowers, a little bit of line work with that quinacridone rose, which is a beautiful color. And um, after I do that, I take a clean brush with water and I go over it so it softens it a bit. I didn't want it to be super harsh lines. So I do that um, when it's kind of half dry. It just sort of softens the lines a bit so it's not too um, cartoony or anything. Now I'm going on to her hair and I couldn't resist using um, amethyst genuine because ugh, I love amethyst and I like that kind of delicate purple. It goes very well with moon glow and mine blue. And I'm just putting the first light layer on her hair now. Don't wanna care about them Though it hurts so bad I wanna stay wide open Don't wanna care about them Though it hurts so bad I wanna stay wide open Cause if I shut down It just gives them the right I wanna stay wide open So now I'm taking uh, a mixture of amethyst and moon glow and I'm adding a darker layer um, to her strands just to add a bit of definition, not really outlining it, I wouldn't say, but just adding a bit of um, line work, kind of shadows here, shading here and there um, where it would be underneath, it would fall underneath and going over that blue as well so with some strands just sort of to make it all kind of come together and um, I'm not really following, obviously, as you can see, I'm not following any reference photo. I'm just going with my imagination and having fun and doing this um, how my intuition tells me. And watch out for splashes because <laughs> I just splash tons. And so I just quickly dab it off and no big deal. He, from the moment of my open eye, been looking for a guided light to lead me on my way. Yeah, lost, I struggled then to make the top. A slipping grip can't hold me up. It's the game of life we play.
know that I'm weak, you exploit that, yeah I'm down on my knees when you place your bed Keep telling myself it's the last of it But I hold on When everything comes crashing down Yeah, I just do when I hear the sound Just say the word and I'll stay the night You wouldn't text if you moved on You wouldn't keep me in your phone Unless you know that you were So basically, um, I did all the strands it was it's actually just needs a lot of patience and it's actually quite fun to do just don't um get discouraged if you feel you know it's it's um a lot but you don't have to do every little strand like i did or you can go in with color pencil after and do that with color pencil um i, I just like that it creates this kind of beautiful effect and i'm adding a little bit more line work now in the flowers just a little bit more and then softening it like I did before with clean water and I just wanted that extra kind of um, that extra definition and a little bit more contrast in those flowers so I'm still using the same pink it's the quinacridone rose but just a little bit less diluted and I'm even kind of outlining the petals a bit just to um, give them a bit more definition. You know guys, if you feel kind of intimidated by this um, tutorial, don't, please don't, you know, you don't have to make it exactly the same. I just wanted to inspire you and show you some of my techniques and get your creative juices flowing. And, you know, when you have that fear of doing of jumping in and taking that leap that is when when you overcome that fear that is really when the magic happens that's when you see that you, you realize that you didn't even know you could do certain things you know you, you really surprise yourself and that's when it's really magical I can try if you let me with our lives I am pleased Stories that aren't mine What I did to achieve you Gave me air, thought I had to I'm untrue, it's not pretty The truth hurts And you So now I'm going over the leaves with another uh, layer and that layer I'm using a mixture of serpentine green and dropping a bit of the Mayan blue inside and as you can see I left like a line in the middle of with um, showing the lighter glaze uh, underneath so that's the vein of the leaf. Thank you. 
So I've come to the final part of this painting. It's pretty much done, uh, the painting part, but um, one thing that's really important that I'm doing now is adding some of those colors uh, that we have in the background and in her hair and just all around the painting. I'm adding that as a reflective, like a reflective glow on the flowers. So just to bring everything together. Now I decided, I, after I let it dry completely, I let it dry for about an hour or two. And um, I decided to add some detail with color pencil. And you can see I'm just choosing out uh, the colors, basically the same shades that I have on the painting already. And for her face, I'm going to use some violet, um, just really light, light purples. And um, I'm choosing those out. Maybe for her lips, I chose like a really light red, pinkish red. And here I'm just adding a little bit of line work and reinforcing some of the shadows. And I'm adding also with a purple. I'm going to add some, some hair to her eyebrows, but very lightly. Don't want it to be too um, obvious. Looking again at the reference, just to make sure the direction of her eyelashes. Now her eyelashes, I'm doing them kind of in, in clumps because you don't want to um, do them really straight either. They kind of go out curved. And so kind of in clumps, kind of curved, kind of random, <laughs> just so that they look more realistic. And I'm doing the bottom lashes as well. Nothing too exaggerated. I'm going to keep um, doing some line work all throughout the painting. And on her lips as well, remember to do the, cur the lines curved in the way you did with the paintbrush. Because you, that way it helped give a little bit of volume to them. And you guys, I know uh, a lot of you, um, one of your goals for the next year is to follow your dreams and maybe even become a full-time artist. I know the idea can be really daunting and I, for example, have followed my dream last year and left my job, you know, just recently actually. And, you know, it's really scary in the beginning, but I really encourage you to just go for it and not worry about um, the future, what the future holds. I mean, of course, you know, if you have a family like me, it's always very daunting. But um, if it's meant to be, you will see that everything will fall in place and it will happen. Everything will the path will open to you and you will see it bright and clear and don't just don't be afraid to follow that dream don't be afraid to to grab it to walk in that path that um that you were meant to walk in and so that being said uh, i really hope you enjoy this tutorial and creating with me as i, I hope you enjoyed it as much as i did <laughs> And um, if you like, if you liked it, if you had fun, you can um, always follow me on, you know, have on my website, you can sign up for my newsletter for more free tutorials. Every time I make one, you're the first to know. And uh, this year is going to be a really amazing year. I'm going to be teaching in a lot of classes. So, I mean, I'm going to be making more of my own classes, but uh, I'm also teaching in Lifebook and and paint your heart and soul and uh, some more uh, courses as the years as the year unfolds you'll find out <laughs> it's a surprise and yeah I really hope to see you in some of my classes and I can't wait to see what you create for this free tutorial just wanted to um, let you know that you guys are wonderful and <laughs> thank you for everything and I'll see you in 2018. Bye-bye. I know that you're curious. I know that you're strong. But life can be furious and things can go wrong. You go, you go. We're better off tomorrow, but who knows? Who knows if we get 
joy or sorrow Stay true to that fire in your heart and your soul Don't drench your desire in what you can't control We fly, we fly Try so hard to get there and we might, we might Be lost but not forever Sleepless nights and wandering Before you make it safely to the